Good morning, guys. Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Um, so if you watched the last video, uh, we moved some pigs around. And um, that afternoon, we went and picked up uh, some chickens. And when we came back, my son asked me if we had really, really gotten into pastured pigs. And we asked why. And we look up, and there's a pig going across the dam. Uh, it just so happens that it was Miss Piggy, our uh, pregnant gilt. She didn't like her paddock, and I didn't run a hot wire on the inside of it, so I'm to blame. Let me show you what's going on. The good part is that here she is, safe and sound, and um, <laughs> she, uh, buddy, she was a long ways away from where we're at right now, but. She didn't like being over there by herself. That was one of the things I was worried about. Um, and on top of that, I moved the guys a whole paddock away from where she was. And she's been with them ever since she'd been here. So I, I it, it was just a mistake, learning curve. Um, the move and all that stuff went really well. But now I'm in a situation where it's going to be a little bit harder for me to move her. And I also think that... I'm gonna have a, what are you doing? You have to swallow it. Anyhow, uh, I, what I think I'm gonna end up having to do now is bring all of the farrowing stuff out here, build another pen to run her in over here and get a hot wire in it first, rather than be lazy and come back and do it later. And also, <coughs> um, I, I'm, I'm, I almost think that, that I'm going to have to have another pig in there with her. Uh, it can't be one of these guys, but um, I, I've been talking to a guy about buying some more pigs, and I may bite the bullet on it and keep them separated for a little while and wait a couple of weeks, build this farrowing pen, and put one of the new pigs in with her as a companion so she doesn't kind of freak out. Uh, if that's a bad idea, please but somebody let me know. Anyway, yeah, you guys just hamming it up over here, ain't you? <clears throat> um, what in the world? Does this mean pigs are happy? I would think so. Or sleepy, one or two. But anyway, that is my current situation. Let me take you over and show you where she busted out of the pen so I can show you all the sad things that I did wrong. This is the farrowing pen and you see the corner where she busted out. So, you know, I should have known better. Um, I have in the past when I raised pigs uh, for ourselves, we did them in, in confinement. We did not have them uh, on pasture like we do now. And I should have known that without something in here that I should have tied all this stuff together much better than I did and that's what happened so she busted this corner down I did have intentions of coming and running a strand of hot wire on the inside of this thing and I just didn't do it um I built this pin fast like I do everything else uh with this stuff because it's been relatively easy so far so we use zip ties just to kind of tie it up there but the electric wire is what really keeps them off of it but anyhow that's what happened to me guys and it's terrible. So now I got to back up and punt, try to come up with another uh, another plan. One more lesson learned. Um, we won't do it this way again. And uh, we will always keep a hot wire on them. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so until I get this figured out, I'm gonna leave her in there with them. Uh, we still got. It, it should be still about a month before uh she's ready to, to farrow so i got a little bit of time to figure it out but um if i if i'm bringing in some other pigs and uh, another guilt to uh be a companion a paddock companion for her so maybe she won't want to bust out and, and get to the the other pigs that she's been with um i'd like to go ahead and get some probably this week uh, i've been talking to somebody so we may do that this week and and um have those here so i can 
uh, quarantine them in another section before moving them all together. So um, we'll see what happens. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Um, you can learn a lot from my mistakes, trust me. Um, anyhow, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.